Five ways to offend a backpacker. Just putting out great and valuable information in this video. I can't tell you how useful this video would have been for me in the past. I mean, so many times out on the trail when I was just looking to really offend somebody. So before I get into it, I just want to thank you guys for being patient uh, with the videos. I like to, uh, I really only like to put out like three or four of these like talking head style videos where I'm standing inside talking about stuff. Uh, in between like actual like backpacking trips like whether it be overnighters multi-day uh, even just a little, little like bushcrafty excursions um, I haven't really done much in the last couple months I've just been like super busy especially because I've been training like a lot so I have a really big run coming up this coming next weekend if you've been following the channel for about a year or longer you probably know what's coming uh, that is my 100 mile or attempt. So I'm gonna try to do 100 miles in like a day. Oh, check this out too. So it's gonna get graphic here for a second. Just got home from my massage therapist. Oh, and look at that cupping. Oh my gosh, she got me good. <laughs> you know, I, I told everybody at work today that I had a, uh, a massage tonight and they're probably thinking like, oh Bryce, like, your massage but I can assure you it was not pleasurable yeah my massage therapist she just she beats the shit out of me number one way to annoy a backpacker make backpacking videos on YouTube no kidding but honestly the only reason I know any of these things is because I document my whole backpacking experience and put it on the internet you know for the sole purpose to get uh, reamed for everything that I do wrong so number one on the list ways to offend a backpacker Cut your toothbrush. This is my infamous, now infamous, uh, cut down toothbrush. You can see I spent a little bit of time with it, drilling a bunch of holes in it. Uh, some would say I have way too much time on my hands, but I just, I don't know. It's like a little craft project. It was fun. It's cool to see how light you can make certain things. This, I posted a video with this in it, and I get comments weekly about this still to this day. Um, how it's just stupid. Backpackers don't cut toothbrushes, YouTubers cut toothbrushes. With all the little scrapes and scratches and all the holes I drilled and everything, uh, it holds bacteria. Valid point. I mean, is that something that really concerns me that I'm gonna be using for two days a lot of the time when I'm out? Here's the current toothbrush I'm using at home. It has a hole in it. That's where I keep the bacteria. It's also got a little toothpaste run down here. You know, normally I keep a uh, a, a, a cup of disinfectant, uh, and so I make sure I disinfect my toothbrush to get all the germs and bacteria off of it. I keep a very, very clean toothbrush. Yeah, it holds bacteria. It's a, it's, it makes sense. So actually when somebody said that all those little cuts and stuff, cause I even shaved down the back of this, everything, all the little imperfections hold uh, germs and stuff but uh, I'm really not worried about it. I mean, I don't clean my toothbrush after I use it. I give it a quick rinse and I put it in my jar. Like it's not really going to be that much cleaner than the toothbrush that I only use a couple times a year. And number two, I'm gonna crack open a cold one here. No beer today. I'm gonna have one of these Coke and coffees. Sponsored, not sponsored. Never tried this before. Mmm, I got the vanilla one. Maybe I should have got the regular. Some of you are probably wondering why is this video going in this direction? That's good. If you gave me this, I wouldn't even put coffee on the name. This just tastes like vanilla Coke to me. That's all for the Coca-Cola coffee review. But number two on the list, the chair. I carry a Helinox Chair Zero, the backpacking chair. Um, easily one of the top things I get comments on, I think. People think it's just unnecessary. You don't want luxuries on the trail. There's definitely like a good fine line between too much luxury and and not enough luxury. If you bring nothing out there and you're, I mean, sitting on a log is completely fine. Don't get me wrong. But if you have no luxuries, nothing to do when you're out there, you're just kind of bored, you might not have a great time. Sitting in the chair is nice. Like I'm actually somebody that I don't download movies on my phone. I don't play on my phone when I get when I get out there. A lot of times, not gonna lie, I like to sit and just like carve sticks and stuff. I like to be close with nature. I like to just uh, look at the sights and and take in all the smells and the sounds. Kind of be one with the earth. When it comes to comfort, man, when you bust out a lot of miles 
and you get to camp and you just can't really get comfortable. I mean, it's one thing when you have like a ch- uh, like a tree or something to prop your back up on, but it's all about the back support. It's not even about your butt. It's about the back support, being able to just really lay back and relax. If you really think that bringing a chair is dumb, try it. I was a little bit anti-chair at the beginning. I really didn't want to get one. The only reason I did is because the shills uh, were bringing them out to Colorado. Everybody that was going out there had one. They told me, Bryce, buy a chair. So I bought a chair and I'm addicted. If I want to go really light, do a bunch of miles, I'll leave the chair at home for sure. But when it comes to small sacrifices and weights to add like tons and tons of luxury, the chair is definitely number one. It is so comfortable to actually have something that only weighs a pound. Like that's not a ton. You can lose weight other places to make up for that one pound and just like comfortable camping experience. Number three, wood processing equipment. And I'm mostly talking about the saw. So I don't bring like an ax. Uh, If I did bring an ax, I'd probably get reamed in every video for that. I actually put one in the thumbnail the last video and I had people commenting, ripping me for carrying an ax and they didn't even watch the video. (laughs) Like I clearly was joking, like I don't carry an ax when I backpack. I definitely carry a saw most of the time, my little silky saw and I actually have a, a knife point gear saw too. They're like four and six ounces. Like that is nothing. The amount of wood that you can process up like for efficiency, fire, like you don't have to look around for sticks all over the place. Saws are so nice to have uh, camping. They're not ultralight, uh, ultralight backpackers, people that um, are all about not carrying any weight at all. Really ream me in the comments for that all the time. I don't claim to be an ultralight backpacker. I mean, I throw out the word ultralight a lot in my videos because a lot of the, a lot of the gear I have is considered ultralight. And it's, it's great to have a good mix of like luxury, comfort, as well as ultralight. So I have like a pretty light pack most of the time, uh, my base weight, so my whole pack, everything without consumables like uh, water, fuel, food, is like 11 pounds, like 11 pounds before that stuff. So a lot of times I go out on the trail rocking like a 20 pound pack on day one. Like that's not bad at all for carrying a chair and a saw. Number four, this is a good one, going ultralight. By far the most popular negative comment that I ever get is, and I mean this with no offense and all due respect, but I always get the, I was in the military or I was in the service, we carried 80 pound packs, you're a Like, I get it. I know, like, you can go out and carry a lot of gear, and in your guys' situation, it makes sense. Your life is at stake. Mine is not. I'm going on a camping trip. It's a completely different spectrum. I don't carry less and less, less weight because I can't carry it. I carry it because I want to have a good time. I don't throw my pack on and think, oh, it's so heavy. I just can't carry it. Oh, I better cut this little strap off save two grams. It's enjoyable to get light. Certain things that I carry, like if I'm carrying some like camping metal spoon and I'm weighing, like feeling it, it's kind of heavy and then I can just bring a little plastic spoon or something and literally chop the weight down by like 90%. Like that's not a lot of weight coming from something that's only 10 ounces to one ounce. But if you do that with every piece of backpacking gear you have, you can pretty much be hiking with all the same conveniences with like next to no weight on your back so you can go farther, you can have more fun, you can enjoy the scenery and everything because you're not worried about back pain and leg pain. It's just smarter. So many people just rip on me for being a because I wanna have a light pack. It's just a hobby, it's fun, it's fun going light. And I'm not gonna lie, my first few trips, there was times when I was hiking thinking, why am I doing this? That's not what I wanna be thinking. Uh, when I'm on the trail. And now that I have a light backpacking setup, I never think that. Number five, the end one. And this kind of plays on the last one, but we're gonna go the other spectrum, going traditional. So this is the opposite of ultralight backpacking. And I'm talking, instead of using a little, uh, little pop can stove that you made that weighs nothing, you use like the full on jet boil from REI that the whole thing weighs about a pound and a half. Great option, the thing works awesome. But if you don't use a lot of the like super like high end, most expensive, lightest gear in the market, a lot of these ultralight guys are just super like 
snobby, like so judgmental. Uh, I know there's a uh, forum, uh, it's like Reddit Ultralight. This is, this is how much I get on there. I don't do the Reddit thing. I think I popped on Reddit Ultralight one time and it was a bunch of people like arguing over their base weights and what gear is lighter and they're, they're getting into all the different fabrics and stuff. And I think that stuff is cool. I love gear, don't get me wrong but I will never argue with people over what the best gear is. I will never lose respect for somebody if they want to carry something that is not what I would personally carry. Like it doesn't matter at all. I have some pretty nice ultralight gear. Like my backpacks, they're made of Dyneema, they're expensive, uh, they're just sweet. But do you think I see somebody on the trail with like an Osprey or a Gregory or a Kelty and I'm like offended by that, like I'm not. But there are ultralight guys out there that literally see that as an experience. They see it as uh, kind of like an ignorance type deal because like, oh, if you only knew, you'd be light. But it's not about that. If you can go out with a light enough pack, it's all about just getting out and having fun. That's all what it's about. It's not about the gear as much as all us YouTubers are talking about the gear. Like. I get tired of talking about gear. I really do, like I like the gear, I just don't care. I still can't believe you can't taste the coffee in this. It's just all about going out and having fun. Like, I don't care what gear you use. Like, dude, it doesn't matter. I think that about does it. Thank you all for your negative comments that helped inspire this video. Honestly, just brings a smile to my face every time I get one. <laughs> no, seriously though, for like all the great comments that I get in the video that I'm truly appreciative for, uh, I might get a couple bad comments, so it's really, it's really not a lot there. That is it, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe below for more videos like this in the future. Got cool stuff planned. Going to the Rockies in Colorado next month. That's gonna be fun. Uh, probably gonna kill myself next week out at Mohican. But yeah, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram, hit that like button, throw a comment. But once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You know it's hot out here for a pimp.